there are 2 million internally displaced persons in Nigeria. This is largely due to ongoing attacks by Boko Haram in the northeast part of the country and ongoing clashes between farmers and herders in the north central part of the country. IDP voting will be crucial in this upcoming election in Nigeria. Here are three things you should watch. One, in December of last year, the Election Commission released its framework on IDP voting. It allows for both intrastate voting for IDPs and interstate voting for IDPs for the presidential election. Communication and voter education will be key to ensure that the new policy is implemented and utilized. Two, without a permanent voter's card, commonly known as a PVC, a Nigerian cannot vote. Distribution of PVCs to all eligible voters in Nigeria has been a major challenge for the Election Commission, so it will be an even bigger challenge in IDP camps. Three, insecurity combined with heightened political tensions raise the likelihood of political and or communal violence. This would disproportionately impact vulnerable populations such as IDPs. Personal insecurity could deter enthusiasm or ultimately prevent citizens from participating in the electoral process. Two questions remain. Will IDPs be disenfranchised in the upcoming election? And what will the Election Commission do between now and February 16th to ensure this is an inclusive electoral process? To learn more, visit IRI.org, Nigeria Elections.